So a couple of weeks ago, I featured a video wearing this exact t-shirt. And as I said in the video, I actually handmade this shirt. And I also told you in a couple of weeks, I would show you how I did that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can silk screen your own t-shirts in an all new Modern Man DIY. Let's get started. When you order your screen printing kit from easyscreenprint.com, it comes with literally everything you need. You got your paint, brush, squeegees, grids, stencils, and exposure kits, all of which will be used in the video today. Transparencies also come with the kit, and they're the first step in making a stencil. Here's the image I made that we're going to turn into a transparency. And if you notice, it does not have a background. That is extremely important when making your image. Transparency will have a rough side and a glossy side. Putting the rough side into your printer and printing on the highest settings possible, you're going to want to print out your image onto your transparency. And this will be used to make your stencil. Okay, so now that our transparency has dried, we are actually going to begin the process of making our stencil. Everything you see here is what you're going to need to begin that process. The first step is we're going to take our clear glass panel that comes in the kit and we're going to take our transparency and we're going to lay it down onto the glass panel. Then it's time to actually take our stencil. You pull the stencil out of the bag and it looks like this and there is a clear piece that needs to come off and that comes off just like so that is actually trash this screen has a shiny side and a rough side the shiny side needs to go directly on top of your transparency we're going to then take our black piece with the felt side down we're gonna put that on top and then these little clips that are provided in the kit will go around the edges of your board to hold everything together and stop it from moving around then you want to flip it over and you'll notice that your image is now backwards and that's exactly what you want you want to quickly take your cardboard that comes with the kit and cover this. So next what you're going to want to do is take your stencil outside. You want to make sure that it is not cloudy outside, it's not early morning, early evening. It is direct midday sunlight where the sun is directly going to be on the ground. And you want to make sure it gets as much sunlight as possible. And when you're ready, remove the cardboard and expose the film to the sunlight. This step is really important. You need to set a timer for 60 seconds because if you overexpose the film, it will not come out right. When the time is up, go back out there and immediately put your cardboard back over top of the stencil, covering it up and bring it back inside. Okay, so now you want to carefully remove your stencil from the frame and immerse it into the water. And you're gonna to wanna to set another timer and leave it in the water for 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and this is where your screen and your brush can come into play. You want to gently run some water over the screen and brush out some of the remaining parts of the screen that didn't come out in the water. So what you're going to want to do now is take your stencil and screen and put it back out in the sun to dry. Right now it's kind of flimsy and wet and would not work very well on a shirt. So what you're going to want to do is let it dry for about 15-20 minutes or until it's rugged and hardened. At that point it'll be ready for use. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set up our t-shirt in preparation for the actual screen printing process. But what I've done is I've taken our dried stencil and I've placed it onto the white frame that actually comes in the kit. 
and I have used some painter's tape and taped it all around the frame. And that is to prevent the stencil from moving while you're actually painting it. Okay, so first you're gonna to wanna to take the color of your choice. In this case, it's gonna be red. And then you want your squeegee. And you're gonna to wanna to dip your squeegee in the paint. And then I like to start at the top of the screen and you want to hold it down but at the same time don't push too too hard because then it'll actually move the screen you want to apply like an even pressure throughout the entire thing and kind of go a moderate speed not too slow but not too fast either because then it'll buckle if you go really fast All right, so when removing the screen, you want to do it and just voila, like that. And there we have it, a nice crisp logo. With this kit, I've been able to make a lot of cool handmade shirts, including the ones that are available on my channel's Etsy shop and the one that I'm wearing for this video. Now, here's something else worth mentioning. You can reuse these screens. Now. To wash the screen, all you gotta do is put this screen back in the water, use your paintbrush, and just start brushing away at the screen and the paint will come right off. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it educational. I actually really enjoyed using the kit from EasyScreenPrint.com. I think they make a really excellent product. The only concerns I really do have about the kit is that the difficulty level is definitely there. In order to make these shirts, I did waste a ton of transparencies and stencils. So if you are going to order a kit, I do suggest that you order extras because it can be quite the process to learn and it's really easy to mess up. So you wanna follow the instructions very carefully. One thing I also noticed about the stencils is that your design really does have to have thick, bold lines. This design right here that was created by an awesome guy named Jacob from the EP group, it had really fine lines and I found that the stencils, even the high def stencils, really had trouble making out those little lines. But for now, if you wanna check out one of these awesome t-shirts that I made using the kit, check out my Etsy store. The link will be in the description down below. If you wanna order a kit for yourself and start making your own products, the link for easyscreenprint.com will also be in the description down below. Huge thank you to easyscreenprint.com for sponsoring this video and letting me try your kits. And a huge thank you to you guys for checking out this video and my other videos that I posted this week. So thanks again, guys. I'll catch you guys right here Tuesday for an all new episode of Modern Man TV. Catch you later. <laughs>